making some final adjustments, see? Yes, I can see that. When will you be moving on to the testing phase? Immediately. I guess it will be a long night then. I will start my main assignment now. Oh, please do. And add a little extra sugar this time. Noted. Project Oedipus. Time of first test? 12.53 a.m. Time point noted. Are you ready, C? Of course. I'm ready. Looks like Oedipus is operational. Yes, very good. Go get me that device. I will inform Hedgehog. I hate to change the subject at such a time, Rick, but there has been a security breach on the first floor. Show me the stairways and elevators. Showing stairways and elevators. Oh, that's not good. Hello. Welcome to the medical research lab. Oh, it appears that you are armed. You must be looking for the weapons lab. Where is it? I cannot find it. You will have to be more specific. Project Oedipus. A mythical Greek king, Oedipus obliged himself after fulfilling the prophecy of his father to marry his mother. Would you like me to continue? Enough! Wait, I can ask the legend. Nice. I didn't think we were going to get to kill anybody on this mission. So this is what Hedgehog was after. What is it? Uh, it's a prototype for a new weapon. It, it's capable of blinding an entire city full of people with just one blast of ultra bright light. Huh. I wonder what Hedgehog was going to use it for. She's going to reproduce it. She wants to blind everyone in the city so that no one can see her mangled face. Run! It's an early Barracuda model. <laughs> They're so easy to hack. <laughs> That's why we didn't renew our contract with them. I told you to run. I'm Porcupine, by the way. I'm Rick. So, Rick, I can trust you, right? Yeah. Good. Because you're controlling a robotic death machine with that little watch of yours. I need to know you're a good guy. Oh, I, I am. And I can count on you? Yeah, uh, of course. I mean, you've saved my life. And you saved mine. Oh. You know, that's pretty heroic of you, Rick. Well, thanks. I mean, I was just trying to... In fact, I'd say it was super heroic. Oh, no, 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 no. Looking for a sidekick for a while now, Rick. We need a new one, and you're it. Me? No, 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 no. I'm not a, a sidekick material. But you've got this cool watch thing, though. You'd make a great sidekick. I need your help to get the best of Hedgehog. 
Hedgehog? Are you serious? We're talking about the same hedgehog, right? The mass murdering psychopath? The, the just an, a robot to kill me hedgehog? Come on, you're not scared. Yes! She has literally killed thousands of people! She's just going through a phase. I can probably reason with her. Reason with her? Last week she derailed a train. Do you know what that train was transporting? Baby pandas on the way to the zoo. The woman kills baby pandas for fun. I really don't think you're going to be able to reason with a person like that. She's just in a mood. Stop being a prick, Rick, and be my psychic. Hey, <laughs> that's clever. It's not that good. Oh my god, that's your superhero name, Prick. Porcupines, prick things, prick. It's cute. A prick? Prick? Couldn't that be something cool like a, like, like, like Captain Gizmo? Prick makes me sound like a jerk. Come on, Prick. Let's go kill the bad guy. Okay. Now, I know where Hedgehog's hiding. With you controlling Cyborg, we might be able to get a jump on her. I figure Hedgehog expects Cyborg to return to the hideout with Project Oedipus. If he shows up with me as a prisoner, that will be a bonus for Hedgehog. You can control him remotely from the van, right? I should be able to control him from up to a mile away. Okay, good. Now remember, don't detonate Project Oedipus until I give the signal. Good work, Cyborg. Inform Hedgehog. Uh, um, excuse me, your most beauteous and radiant one. We've captured Porcupine. Oh, you idiot! Place her head on the display trophy wall. But we're running out of room, especially with all the panda heads. Uh, uh, yes, yes, of course. We'll find a place, your most glorious one. Huh. What happened, Jennifer? I didn't think a group of lowly dogs would be able to capture the great porcupine. Yeah. Your cyborg has a mean right hook. Ha, huh, that he does. It's a shame, really. I always pictured you and I facing off on some epic top battle royale. I wanted to defeat you. Now we'll just have to settle for killing you. I can see you breathing, Jennifer. I hate it when you call me Jennifer. I know, that's why I do it. Now take off those ridiculous goggles. There. Now the last thing that you'll see as you die on my sword is my mangled face. The face you gave me. It's not that bad. I barely 
it grazed you. Right. But it's the principle of it, Jennifer. You said you would never throw a knife at me. I was just really frustrated. I wanted you to come fight crime with me. Fight crime? We're supervillains, Porcupine. You can't just up and decide to switch for the good team. You know how I get on my little kicks? <laughs> yeah. So, that's been a good guy on for you anyway. Okay, I guess. I mean, I got my own sidekick. You have a sidekick? Yeah. Is she pretty? It's not like that. It's a guy, actually. He's controlling your cyborg right now with his little watch. <laughs> oh, I was wondering. I really mean it, Pumpkin. You still look totally hot. Your chick's big scars. Especially this chick. Really? I'm done with crime fighting, and I'm ready to be a villain again. You know, I'll always love you, Jenny. I'll always love you, Pumpkin. Got it! Listen to this. Yet another bank robbery foiled by our city's newest superhero, Captain Gizmo. It seems that Captain Gizmo and his cyborg, Citizen C, have saved the day again. Residents and baby pandas alike can all rest easy today. Men, they're all 